Hello, my friends. Okay, so this is a little planetary weather report for Pisces rising. You can listen if you are a Pisces sun or a Pisces moon. But I really recommend people listen to uh, their rising sign because it's just more, much more accurate. Um, okay, so this is, uh, oh, where are my notes? Okay, this is for uh, July uh, 21st through 24th, roughly because there's a lot of stuff kind of happening in that time. And that will be mostly the overview here is Jupiter having its last hurrah in Pisces in your first house, um, meeting with Venus and having this kind of party moment. And then we're getting the full moon in Aquarius coming through and what that means on a bigger picture, especially as far as the last month and then the rest of this year and the rest of next year. Um, I'll just touch a little bit on, on that. So, um, the planet, uh, so Jupiter is a planet of um, expansion and um, luck and abundance and um, options and possibilities and optimism. So it's like a lot of good stuff, a lot of jovial stuff and more building things up. Um, and in Pisces, it's like one of his favorite places to be because that is one of his homes. Um, like the other one is Sagittarius where he has all of his tools and all of his... Um, magic is at his fingertips where he can do his jupiter stuff like so perfectly and bring that out very easily and he is in retrograde go going backward right now as planets do um and he's going to next week actually retrograde back into aquarius and aquarius is not exactly like his favorite place it's more like if you were at your home and you had everything you, you needed and you went to an airbnb and it wasn't like the best but it wasn't like the worst it was like I'm here. It's cool. It's not my vibe, but it has everything I need. And, you know, there's a nice bed, there's Wi-Fi, whatever. He's just doing his thing. But it's it's not as like, I have everything and I like I can just, you know, I'm shining on my stage. It's more like, eh, I'm making it work over here. Um, so we'll talk about that a little bit more next week. But right now, I want to focus on Jupiter and Pisces having this last moment of a pleasurable kind of uh, harmonious meeting with Venus and Venus is the planet of love of harmony of bringing things together being bringing people together romance um, beauty how we find beauty and pleasure in the world and it could also be about money uh, our values things that we value so them coming together in this moment can be about helpful relationships so so Pisces Venus Jupiter in Pisces has been in your first house. So that's your first house of self, identity, your body, your um, appearance. And probably since Jupiter has gone in there in the past two months, you've maybe had a renaissance of self in some way. Maybe you changed your appearance or maybe added something onto your identity or like expanded your identity in some way, um, possibly in a way to deal with compassion or, um, you know, caring more about... Um, you know, those without a voice or something, you know, like Jupiter in Pisces is more like uh, just compassionate, centered on um, maybe, mm, I don't want to just say service, but a, a, just a Pisces um, idea of like the the dreaminess and the faith that like the universe will provide um kind of like let go and let God, there's always more we're gonna, you know, it's not like as crazy as uh amped up as sagittarius you know jupiter sagittarius but jupiter pisces is like providing the abundance in places that might be um maybe overlooked or maybe kind of um in a dream state way like it, it more in a faith-based way or a compassionate based way um because that's pisces um Okay, so more on that later. But this first house, Jupiter energy, should have probably been expanding your world where you're like, I am taking on this or that identity, expanding your identity, um, bringing something else into play that wasn't there before. Um, and the Venus energy, she's about to move into Virgo in your seventh house. So that's your place of other, of relationships, of it's a one-on-one -on -one relationship, either romantic or business. So Venus moving into your seventh is great. It's like, oh, wow. Okay. I'm getting all this help of love, beauty, you know, money, possibly, um, 
a feeling of uh, pleasure, of worth, of values coming into a place of relationships. This is very good. And they're both of those two planets from your first of sense of self and identity to the sense of other and uh, another person that you're having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with them having this moment this is wednesday and thursday is like very nice very amazing uh you know love beauty relationships indulgences could be uh luxuries it could be um just more of a good thing of help helpful relationships harmonious feelings um support um dreaminess maybe letting it all you know letting your hair down and having this like we're clinking glasses it's a kind of a party vibe it just needs to be kind of hemmed in a little bit because it could go overboard with like jupiter and venus coming together you could be like i ate way too much or i just spent way too much or i told this person that we just met and we're going to get married or something like that you don't want to go overboard it's just um so wednesday thursday have the party, have fun, indulge, um, you know, definitely treat yourself. I guess this would be that time to treat yourself with like Jupiter in Pisces in your first, having an opposition with Venus. Um, and Jupiter won't return to Pisces until right before New Year's Eve. So like December 28th or something. So it's going to be a while. Might as well go all out. Um, but just try to keep it uh, together because it could go overboard where you're like, I've into a world of materialism or uh, over inflated where you're like, this cannot sustain. I can't, you know, I, I overextended in some way here. Um, and we don't want that. So I would just watch out for that on Wednesday, Thursday, um, Jupiter, Venus having their last, you know, clinking glasses. Then on Friday, we're having the full moon in Aquarius. And it's a pretty basic full moon in Aquarius. It's like a time of harvest of like culmination. Here we are at the moon in Aquarius. It's in Saturn's sign. Okay. And where is this happening? It's happening in your 12th house, your 12th house of deep psychological kind of um, truths or things that you might want to avoid that you might have warehoused away because you don't want to deal with them. Or there are things like we don't deal with in everyday waking life, like I, I, not home, family, or relationships, or money. It's just deep psychological um, things that we need to work on, everyone. But we put them in the 12th because it's kind of easier to, to just kind of warehouse them there. Um, that is what this full moon is lighting up. And it it also, for everyone, is lighting up the fact that, hi, we have this lit up, let's focus here because Saturn is here. Saturn has been sitting here since December in that house for you of the deep psychological dives into working out, you know, is there some way that you could go through this closet of stuff that you don't want to look at of things that might be you know self-harming you in some way um so saturn sitting there is kind of like yeah i have been doing this work here it's a lot of hard work responsibility a lot of um you know maybe an obstruction or a feeling of a lockdown feeling in that 12th house of just like nothing can move forward because why because there's this saturn situation i don't know what that is but it's just sort of keeping you locked down there and it will and has been especially this past month starting from like late june into early july especially when we've had this t the, the square between saturn and uranus heating up with Mars coming through. So Mars came through in your sixth house of um, health, healing, um, service or hard work you do in the world, possibly pets, people who you work uh, work under you. That got kicked up, um, agitating definitely the 12th house of the self, the self undoing and the psyche and like, why do I have to warehouse this stuff here? We have to look at it. And then the Uranus place where it's in the third, of your siblings, your neighborhood, your neighbors, what you do every day, your like little route that you take, things that you uh, routine things that happen all the time and communication that all of the those areas have been kicked up the, especially this month. Um, and they will continue to remain on the menu, sort of, um, that 12th house of psyche and the third house of siblings or neighbors. 
that's on the menu now. It's on the menu for the rest of the year and into next year. Um, so it's kind of important that we don't just like look at the 12th house and say, yeah, I have to kind of deal with Saturn. It's just it's part of a bigger situation here that we have to look at. Um, but the good news is that Saturn is not going to be alone there now. Now, um, starting next week, and I'll get into this later next week, um, when, Pis when Jupiter moves out of Pisces and moves back into Aquarius, he's going to be moving into that 12th house, going from your first of identity and just taking a break for a little bit. He'll return for you know New Year's Eve on to next year, but it has to go back into that 12th house and kind of roll up his sleeves and get in there and help. But it's good because like that energy is helping Saturn because Saturn is just like, this is all the reason, these are all the reasons why this is not working or hard to make this happen or, you know, a wall or something. Um, red tape, Jupiter moving in there is not like, hey, I'm so happy to be here and this is like the best place for me. But he will, wherever he goes, bring that optimism of like, okay, we can expand this. Let's look at these options. What can we expand on here? What have we not seen that we now can see? Like, let's take a bigger view of everything. So Jupiter moving in there can really um, be very helpful for the 12th house because the 12th house, I bet for the past couple of uh, two months, even though you're self and your identity has been maybe getting this boon of like um more expansion or bigness or more something happening there that 12th house has been suffering with just saturn sitting there and like walls and no answers jupiter coming in although it's leaving it's taking away the juice from the first it's bringing some juice to the 12th and we really need to look at that everyone does because that saturn uranus situation will continue throughout the year and into the next especially when we get eclipses on it also um so that is what i have um yeah is that what i wanted to talk about pisces rising yes we talked about the last hurrah that is great don't go overboard um the full moon highlighting the stuff that needs to happen in the 12th and Jupiter moving back in into that 12th to do more um, heavy lifting but putting some happiness on it too um, and that is what I have for right now and I will be back next week with more